this evening. Guam War Claims legislation has cleared a major hurdle in Congress and is just days away from expected historic approval by lawmakers and likely signing by President Obama. PNC's Washington correspondent Matt Kay has more in this report. It is no small achievement after more than 70 years of legislative efforts and government proceedings dating back to the end of World War II, Guam war claims payments are on the cusp of becoming a reality. House and Senate lawmakers have just hammered out a compromise defense policy bill, the NDAA, that includes war claims legislation, authorizes $249 million for Guam military construction, and frees up some $12 million for a culture artifacts repository. Congresswoman and House negotiator Madeline Bordaglio spearheaded the final push to include Guam war claims in the National Defense Authorization Act, now headed for final floor votes. But the effort that faced a number of earlier setbacks was the culmination of decades of work started in the 70s by Guam's first congressional delegate, Antonio Wanpat. Delegates Ben Blas and Robert Underwood continued the struggle struggle for war claim parity and justice for Guam's people who suffered under brutal Japanese wartime occupation. Bordaglio's office says the congresswoman is cautiously optimistic war claims will stay in the NDAA. It says the political dynamic is different than 2010 when the Senate stripped out war claims over cost and other objections. 2006 congressional estimates put the cost at close to 200 million. Bordaglio put it at between 80 million and 160 million. As part of a compromise, war claims will be paid with excess Section 30 federal tax reimbursements to Guam. Heirs to those who suffered injury were removed from the measure earlier, and Bordaglio's staff says Senate Armed Services Chair John McCain raised no objections to Guam war claims during the current round of negotiations. Meantime, negotiators dropped Ms. Bordaglio's H-2B worker visa processing improvements over Senate GOP objections. The measure smacked of immigration reform, even though Bordaglio argued it was narrowly tailored to meet Guam's build-up needs. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.